Many state and federal leaders have praised the move to electric vehicles that's happening at an ever-increasing rate. Well, some point to the environmental upside and the economic opportunities here in Michigan. There may be a downside as well. Political reporter Rick Albin here now to talk about concerns expressed today in Lansing about the shrinking gas tax revenues and the impact that that might have on the current budget, Rick. Right, a group of government and business stakeholders have formed something called the Coalition on Electric Vehicles and Transportation Revenue. It doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, but the title of the group makes it very clear what they're worried about. More cars that don't use gas means more miles traveled without collecting gas taxes. Those gas taxes pay for road, particularly non-interstate roads, repair and resurfacing. The impact's already being felt, according to County Roads of Michigan Ass Executive Director Denise Donahue. We're here to recognize that from 2019 to 2021, Michigan Roads, and specifically the Michigan Transportation Fund, did not receive $50 million in state gas tax that we expected to come in the door. By 2030, a mere seven years from now, uh, that shortfall will grow to 65 to 90, 95 million dollars a year that doesn't, that is not received. So at this time, using current prices, uh, CRA estimates that 840 miles of roads will not be able to be resurfaced per year. That is a distance from the city of Monroe to Taquamanon Falls and back again. Both lanes, both directions, every year will not be able to be resurfaced if we do not address this problem soon. The County Roads Association of Michigan, along with the Michigan Association of Counties, Michigan Municipal League, State Chamber of Commerce, Michigan Township Association, just some of the organizations pushing the idea of new road funding mechanisms and funded a study that offered a number of possibilities like raising registration fees for EVs to make up for lost revenues, going to a mileage-based user fee where you would pay by the mile, charging EV owners per kilowatt hour, thereby measuring mileage by electricity use, and reporting mileage to the Secretary of State at the time of registration for your vehicle every year, or finding a way to charge tolls on some roads in Michigan. The group wants the state government to start now to rethink road funding before the deficit grows larger, and there is a lot of conversation in Lansing as to what should be done. It seems clear, though, that a solution may need to be found sooner rather than later, and it brings a big change, very likely, in the way we as taxpayers pay for road repair in the state. Brian?